who beat Sunday paint stream with me and Zerg. I know you were probably expecting a bug today, but you're busy, so I'll take over. Let's just get myself into a position where I can actually see the chat. Super useful. Yeah, you might notice a slight change in audio quality, but I have to rig something else up for the moment because I don't like moving the other mic around too much. It makes it sad. Okay, what are we starting with today? Mixing the armor. Just make sure she's in the shop. Yep. I'm still working out positions in this guy, so it's going to be it's a little work in progress. How's the uh, audio for you, Frost? Yeah, I'm I'm using a different mic. Hasn't been completely set up to work with how I'm sitting, but it's a work in progress. At least you can hear me. I fucked about a bit last week and made a bit of a mess. Right, I need to clean the legs up and it should be time for washing. done is I've set up a secondary mic and put it on the desk instead of having to destroy my uh, live streaming mic every time I try and do this. So what I'm going to need to figure out is how to get a secondary profile onto voice meter that I can switch between from, uh, gaming to painting because obviously the settings that it's using currently are for when I'm over at the PC um, gaming. The acoustics are all messed up over here. Ahoy, wondering. But uh, we have the technology. I should be able to 
fix it at some point. Uh, I'm not going to worry about it today because honestly, I just care enough to do it today. What I'm probably going to have to do is invest in. I don't need to invest in, I've got one. Um, I have a soundproofing cage that goes around the mic. But I need to dig it out. And that will probably help with this one to cut out some of the echo. thin coat just to hide any sins but do feel free to shout at me if my I start wandering off of the desk as well I have a tendency to just go. The mic is what about there. Hopefully it doesn't it's not encroaching on the on the uh camera, that's cool. Okay, so we're just gonna set her aside for a minute. Let her let that coat dry. And uh, I think chuck down some paint on the old dog Marta. and I absolutely love this model uh, do I want to paint her that is the question let me just start throwing layers on to see how it goes Dude. Such a janky system I've got because um, my painting desk is on the opposite wall to my PC, so all of the streaming stuff is behind me, so I can't actually look at OBS and tell where I am. So, what I've done is I've set my phone up next to me and uh, I'm actually watching through my phone, but the problem is the phone is 30 seconds behind what's actually happening. Yeah, a little bit tricky. We'll get there. Let's just move that up a little bit. There we go. That'll do. Do -de -de -de. Oh, I love painting red. I also like painting green. I haven't painted green for ages. I might do some orcs next week. do the bottoms of her robes red so does she have a full red robe or does she go red and black I don't know 
I've not decided yet. think I think black I think the lower bit goes black that flood at least goes gold yeah yeah I think that's what I'm gonna do okay right that's cool I do need to oh, I'll do that after I've watched this one Uh, Ugg's just got uh, a lot of series to catch up on for the channel, so he is diligently recording away. So I've taken over doing the painting live stream today because I now have the technology. Definitely think that's what's going to happen with her. I'm still waiting for the um, Palantine to dry, so I'm just going to throw some red and other stuff we've got sitting about. Like this incredibly old sculpt. Well, it's not an old sculpt, it's an old piece of artwork. But they turned into a sculpt. But it's fine cast, and I fucking hate fine cast just absolutely awful work with it's horrible to paint don't have a huge amount of red on this one sister not as much red as you'd expect uh, what's that? that's the inside of it that's fine I really need to buy some more goddamn paint holders my hands that do not like painting like this anymore. God, I must have primed this years ago because this fucker's jet black and all my other sisters are grey. Palantine, are you ready? I missed a bit. Well, I've got loads of paint handles, but the problem is they're all occupied at the moment. And I can't really be bothered to pry all the other models off them. Where's my Mournfang Brown? Apologies. Don't need much. Dab will do. Thank you. 
just need to fix a little bit of spillage on the scabbard. No, I like spillage. the belt looking the belt's fine yeah she's ready for a watching washing with her look at my wash brush Okay, so the first thing we're going to use is a bit of no more on um... the fuck did we use no more on this? Pretty sure. We used it on the armor, we used it on the hair, we used it on the weapons. Did we use it on the corset? I think we may have done. Well, we'll figure it out. This is the problem with me not writing down my goddamn recipes. I did learn though that if it's in the camera. If you see the prayer beads at her waist and some of the other white details, they've got a blue hint to them. And the ones I've done recently are too black. So I'm going to have to go over those, repaint them in grey, and then wash them in blue. Okie dokie. That should be about a square. Watch this armor. Yeah, just making sure we don't hit any of the gold. I don't want to have to can repaint all of that. Watch some of that. It doesn't matter if you put a little bit too much on the armor because it's a very very dark gray blue the null oil will work to blacken it up somewhat kind of what we want hit all the silver with it as well All the silver, all the dark leather. We'll do the gloves as well. Checking the consistency of the paint on my thumb. Feels like skin that right. Gun, gold. See, 
this is the part I like. It's when you start washing stuff, and the detail pops back out again. It's like, oh, the model doesn't look like shit anymore. Hooray! Okay. Backpack. Just trying to be really careful not to hit that gold. just so same sort of hue across the board so I'm pretty sure I did wash the hair in black and not in blue but I think I did all of the prayer beads the rosaries and that sort of thing. Blue. Let's just pull some of that off so it doesn't start coffee staining. We don't want big fucking chunks of it. We just want it a nice even coat. We just touch the brush to it and pull it off. Rest plate's been done. A little bit off the glove. Again, I don't want coffee staining. Nice. Deep coat, but not ridiculously obscuring. Okay. Yeah, not bad. Okay. So we're waiting for the Null and oil to dry. It's a bit too risky at the moment to go and straight with the Agrax because you've got a chance of Yeah, I do I tend to I tend to hover the model sort of towards me. Which is annoying. And I'm trying to train myself not to do it. Where the fuck did I put my dragon off my shadow wrist? Greatest thing I've ever bought. But yeah. Just gonna go in with some Dragon off Nightshade. I'm just gonna hit the rosaries with it. Just gonna blue these babies up. The only other thing to do on her is Imperial Crest. Well, the Inquisitorial Crest, even. Let's get some of that in there. Lovely. Lovely, jubbly. Any other white needs to be done? Nope. It's fairly easy. Right. She's going to need a few minutes to dry. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back over the other ones I was painting because they're almost at the same spot now. 
and we're just going to repair the uh, inquisitorial marks and the rotary feet because they were not meant to go black. Shit, don't use your goddamn wash brush to mix paint. You fool! Half mad, half insane loon, that's not what it's for. God, I need to clean that pot now, it's fucked. Okay, so we will start on our cannoness. Oh, I need to be really careful because if I fuck this, I'm going to be really upset. Literally just want to touch the brush to This bit's not too bad because this bit can just be gone over. It's like these rosary beads. When you've got like a corner like this, you can just run the brush along it, like catch it as if you were edge highlighting. But don't go in too heavy oh, like that, basically. If you do, fuck up horribly. But I just did. Wet your brush. Go in there with some water. Brush it off. That bit. That bit can be done without doing it. But if you fuck it up on some gold or something, just clean your brush off, load it up with water, and go straight in and just paint it off water and you should be able to just wick it away these wings are far too dark with black on them so we're just going to repair them slightly and Go at them with a Drakenhof nightshade just to give them that cool blue instead of a dirty grey. And not to forget the rosary she's got wrapped around her hand. Touch that. And I can do the fleur de lis as well. But again, because all the main layers are done, I'm literally just treating this like a wind plus highlighting. So I'm just rubbing the brush it's going to be black okay yeah mistakes happen there's no point getting upset about them you just repair out and move on especially if you're as fucking dyspraxic as I am and your hands shake like a shitting dog stuff will happen it's just learning to repair it and not letting it stress you out my advice would always be start on a bigger model like I wouldn't suggest going straight in to try and paint Gene Steeler Colt or something like that if you've never painted before. 
fiddly as fuck. Here we go. Give this flirt at least a little look over. Any more for any more. That's it. That's it. Okay, what have we got on this one? So on this one, we've got a knee plate. Let me just give a little bit too much on that. Knee plate, shoulder, shoulder, and face mask. Okie dokie. And of the mask. fix that in a moment. Right, same again. on the hand and just try and fix up the shoulder Its shoulder, more fleur de lis. And it's the mask. Huge fan. That dirty grey that the null null turned the white into. It's all gonna be worked back up to like a very bright white. But I just don't like it as a foundation. <laughs> yeah man, I, I keep trying to pull myself in closer, but I I, I list to the right.
shoulder pad on this one. Mask up, I think that the last one to repair. Yeah, I think it is. Check the ones that aren't on stands at the moment. Is there anything on them that needs doing? A little white on her. Uh, no, very little white on her as well. Cool. Are you looking? You're looking almost dry. Means we can move on to the old agrax and her. Yeah, yeah, Frosty, you're really helping, dude. Don't worry, just keep it up. Because I'm looking over at the chat more than I am the uh, feed. And the, f the feed I'm looking at is 30 seconds behind. So I can probably see your comments quicker than I can that I'm listing to the right or to the left. My thumbnail, I made a new thumbnail for this. Well, I say I made a new one. I mean, I crossed out Ugg's one and wrote my name in instead because I'm a child. Oh, he's done something awful, hasn't he? It's actually really nice. Thank you, Ugg. No, it's not. Well, let's just have a look at this. I did go blue with these, didn't I? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I went blue with them. But not with the hair. Get a wash on that armor, shall we? There's my beverage gone. Oh. Everything behind me. Actually, fuck it while we're here. Because I still want it to dry a little bit more. We're going to slap down some contrast on this one because her standard is looking very uncontrasty. So we need some wildwood. Fingers for a start. It's just place doing this without. There you go. That's better. Got a handle again. Okay. Did a little bit off. Let's use some liquid magic.
do not want to get this shit on anything else you've painted. Stain the absolute hell out of it. Very careful going around her hand. Touched the hair of it. Damn you, wash brush, being so large. Go back and tidy up the gold anyway, because the gold looks crap on this. I never finished it properly. Fix that. This is dry. If I can avoid getting on everything, I will. I do like wildwood, it's a lovely colour. Anything that isn't supposed to be very, very woody. Just, I might put a second coat of this on just to darken it down slightly. Absolutely lovely colour. Wildwood is one of my favourite contrasts, just because it makes wood look, you know, alive, but very old and battered. Like you'd see on like a relic standard or something. It's absolutely, absolutely amazing for doing Age of Sigmar stuff. Not a huge call for it in 40k. But yeah, any worn sort of woods, I will knock out wildwood for it. I'm not too worried about getting on the golds in the middle because I can just run over that with a 
smaller brush. Just knock some life back into it. Not this bit, I'd rather all the grey was covered. Just got a top to do. Just make sure I actually have a hang over this thing. There we go. This is a very sketchy angle to be painting at. Oh shit. No, not my cherub. Oh well, fuck it. It's only got a painting coat on it. Don't care. Fuck you, cherub. Goddamn gaudy little bastard. Now we'll fix the gold later. Damn you, dyspraxia, stop shaking. I'm very busy. Just get all that covered. back yeah fuck off over there and dry done with you good base wasn't it right make sure the lid's nice and tight on that because I don't want to spill it with a fucking eight pound bottle That would upset me to no fucking end. Oh yeah, that's the whole point of the contrast is. So for the contrast, you only want to paint over, say, not these two colors. So a gray or a cream is your undercoat and then on top of it you'd stick the shade you wanted and it would be completely bleached to that color i really like them very useful right where's my agrax Give that spin on the old test tube. Right, so now for everything that is not meant to be black. Although we may need another coat of null oil. Darken down the armor a bit. Let's see everything else in this model. I get a nice coat of this. And remember, kids, washes hide all shame. Something doesn't butt up quite right. Line it. Get a wash, run it down the center or down the crevice. You've got yourself a lovely. It's supposed to look like that part. Just 
just uh, any coffee staining. So we'll just, just try and guide the wash to where it's meant to be going. I don't mind if some of it goes a bit dark, like around connective areas. If it darkens it down a bit, that's fine. I don't want it too excited. Sort of pissing all over the model. It's very important that when you are washing, you get every single part. Because if you try and go back and wash a part after it's dried that you missed, we'll be able to notice. Too heavy there. Not slightly. I'm gonna hit the golds. May, may need to come back in on the golds to do another one. That's fine. Make sure everything's hit evenly. Good. At least some shoulder. People would use Reichland Fresh Flesh Shade for this, but I always prefer Agrax because it, it darkens the gold down a bit, makes it look older, more battered. I mean, there's no right or wrong way to do it, that's just my preference. It will want to pull up on you though. the Agrax done. Let's just give it a little bit more. So it makes those details pop back out again. 
because it is dead center. So I kind of want it to. Bracelet again. Just stick it to the side for a moment. Uh, no, because I never actually got round to reducing the quality on OBS. Because in the end, what we did was. We got rid of OBS entirely out of that um, equation and we went straight to Discord with it. So what I ended up doing was killing it and just streaming straight to Discord and then Ugg picked it up off of that. So it would um, reduce the output. sit for a minute keeping an eye out for coffee staining which is it's trying to happen there and a little bit there and just just whip that off slightly looks to it not mad about Did forget to hit in there. It's fine, it's a separate part entirely, so it doesn't matter if I go back and do that bit. Everything's still wet, so I'll just blend it straight into the wash. <laughs> Doing this 25 years and I've still licked my goddamn brushes. <laughs> Weird. Because it should be streaming at 4K out of this camera, but OBS might be doing something weird. I'll have a look after the stream, because if I try and fix it now, I will just end up certainly breaking everything. to dry out. Let's go back to the dump martyr. A little bit of red still sitting on the palette as we use it. No point wasting paint. Well, I do it all the fucking time. Continuously. So I know he's going to look, but I mean, it irritates me not to do it.
Yeah, I obviously do. It's probably my end. I've probably touched something that I shouldn't have touched as I'm setting out. It's pretty much how I roll. a bit better. Still need another coat or two. She's coming along. This is why I usually paint uh, a squad at a time. Because I'm literally just doing this. I'm waiting for her to dry. So I will usually paint, say between five and ten at the same time, just doing the same steps all the way through. I fucking hate diorama bases. I mean, it's really cool, but I don't want to paint it. There's so much shit going on in it. I'll have to think about that one. Many layers of robes. The other one's not quite dry yet, so I'm just carrying with the dog Marta. People hate this model, I actually really like it. I know it's quite quite static, but I mean I think it looks quite cool.
Job's good. I don't know. Um, people just, I think it's just because she's like standing there stock still with her mace kind of just like that. I think people just think it's a bit boring or stupid looking, but I, I really like it. I mean, she really does look like she's about to fuck you up. That mace. I don't think everything needs to be in an action pose, you know. Palantine doing. Oh, she's almost dry. Wash has made a nice difference. Not quite there yet though. Let's just check on anything else. Touched a bit. I shouldn't have touched. Sneak a bit of paint in there, nobody notice. Just make sure I haven't overlapped on anything else. A little tiny bit on this one. Anything on this one? No, good. Vast about this one. No, I think that's all right, actually. Yeah, I need to redo the lenses, but that's fine. some of the grenades. Yeah, I forgot I'd um found a bronze car I really like the other time. So I kind of just went over a load of stuff that I'd already done and thought, fuck it. Try some of this. Do you have any grenades or tanks on you that need painting? Nope. Oh, you're good. How about you? Yep, you've got one.
let's, let's wash on that. Lovely. Not too much, that's fine. Us about you. Hmm? Yeah, this is good. Okay. Now, this is the one that I did quite a lot of fucking around on. Basically, change the hue of the gold on her. Whatever the fuck it is she's wearing. Extreme habit. Wash out the uh, crevice. So, oh, that's washing there, crevice. Oh, this fucking low fi Give me a second. Well, ever so slightly different. Man, if I could pick the music I'd, I'd like, we'd be listening to the Smiths. Or Faith No More. A bit of Conway Twitty. Okay. As we fucked with those lenses, it's time to unfuck the lenses. Look, there's only three of them.
much better. <laughs> yeah, my testing music is fucking weird. I, I bounce between... Uh, most days I'll bounce between the Smiths, Faith No More, some old school hip hop like um, Wu Tang Clan or Biggie or Tupac, like real early 90s, late 80s shit. And then maybe some Tool. But my, my for me, my taste in music is very dependent on my mood. Matt, I like a bit of Conway Twitty. Hello, darling. It's been a long time and I miss ya. Can't fucking sing, but you know. so fucking erratic in what I do. We've got bits and pieces drying all over the place. So we're just gonna... Strengthen the grey back up a little bit on this. Just a smidge. because I do want that blue to pop slightly. To be subtle, I want it to be visible. This is why it takes me fucking forever to paint anything. It's because I jump between stuff. And I'll like change my mind on a colour scheme and be like, nope, don't like that colour anymore. And it's shit. Yeah, sorry, Frost. Ding, 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 ding. Painting some grey, the world's most exciting colour.
Don't know, man. You're very fucking useful because unless I'm told, I will just keep pulling right until I'm in a different fucking room. on this one. Appreciate it, really is. Let's have another look. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I went black on those, on the hair at least. And I went blue. I painted these about six months ago and then I had a massive break from being doing it anything really and uh, I'm just trying to basically it's an engineer how the fuck I did it so it worked out so that ended up being peripheral light bronze, which I completely forgot I had. It actually worked really nicely for little tanks. Don't rem I think that may have been a little copper color, but I prefer that one. I'm not going to repaint it. I can't bother. I'm not entirely sure what that colour is. I think it might be one of the metal colours from Vallejo. The copper, probably. too bad. Some of it does need washing again. But we'll use a smaller brush this time because I just want to pin wash some stuff. So, like this. Let's darken it down slightly. Let's 
scabbard. That looks like it hasn't even been washed once. Strap wasn't washed at all. Watch the blue with it. And there's gold. Doesn't seem to use enough. I'm just going to give it with a little tiny coat. Darken it all down slightly. The red's fine. Just a bit there. Looking. Yeah, the red's looking good. As they always bloody do. Okay. Um, I don't actually know. got most of their paints but I don't actually know if that is uh, Boris Vallejo. I don't think I probably should know to be honest. You have a very, very different working method to points. Oh, that's not good. My paintbrush just came off. Oh no. It just came off in my hand. Let's just pretend that didn't happen. Stick that back. I'll use that brush for it. Oh my god, this music is really irritating the piss out of me. country Woo! this the stream seems to be fine but on the on my phone where I'm viewing it, it keeps saying technical malfunction and it keeps dying. Weird. How strange. 
I'm gonna shut this watch. But I'm saying, I keep finding bits that I've gone back and gone, oh, I think I've changed that colour, and I think I've changed that colour. And I've not actually washed the goddamn things. So I won't blur the lease on this thing. At least on the other hip. I don't know if I redid her beads. Okay, cool. Must just be my phone then. That's fine. That's fine. Fucking missed it on this one as well. Damn you, cannonesses. Hiding all of your fucking beads from me. Okay, so I think give it a minute or two, everything is ready to go and have a little shade of blue put on them. Redoing the prayer beads, some of the fleur de lis, and the inquisitorial wings in grey. We're going over them with Dragonoff Nightshade. I also realised the fleur de lis on the right shoulder didn't need to be redone because that's meant to be black. I just looked at this one, and that was washed in black. So, damn it. Oh well. Learning. We're freaking out how the fuck we paint these things. That's what we do. And also, this this free music I put on is really weird, but I'm kind of I'm kind of digging it. Dragon Where's me null no, no, There it is. So we'll just repair the shoulders and then we'll go on to
So yeah, the right shoulder does actually need to be black. Shade those recesses a little bit. You can use the clock on a holiday. Get that easy smile, you got away. Tell me what you say, you say to please, yeah. Oh, we've got a storm going over. Apologies. Yeah, yeah, this is all open music. Though I am getting a bit like, hmm, they're singing, so this might not be, but I, I'm pretty sure it is. open source metal. See what that does. But now... Oh man, I'm, so, I'm, I'm really irritated. In the thing park, it's still rocking around 20 degrees. And I'm not happy about it. Like, it's almost goddamn November. It should not be 20 fucking degrees. So fucking sketchy what I'm doing. So fuck your model up in one easy step. There you go. A bit of wash caught in between the um, model there. I couldn't leave it, it was pissing me off. Uh, what are we doing now? Bit of dragon, bit of dragon of North Shade, that's what I'm thinking. Rafty ho ho. No, let's try and not fuck up this entire thing. So let's just work it into the brush. Here we go. Lovely bit of blue. This, this is going to be the sketchy part. Just got away with it.
All right. Let's try and just catch the rosaries. I think we're just getting away with it. Oh, Frost, I have no idea how to how to convert them anymore. But, I mean, this time of year in the theme park, it should be barely getting into double digits. You know, it should be 10 degrees max. Point the brush up. Yeah, with these uh, shoulder pads, we will be working them up to, up to a titanium white. Oh, fucking hell. Give me two seconds, guys. I just need to shut the window because um, the storm is trying to basically rip the window off. Fuck you, storm. My window. Alright, I'll just hit these rosaries. Oh yeah, man. Yeah, I get you. Yeah, and what we're going for on here is you don't just want a flat wash. You're actually trying to get wash to evenly distribute over each of the feathers. Give it definition. Why you're like watching me kind of mush it about a bit. So I'm just trying to get it to evenly distribute so that it pops the little details on them. Okay. Now I've got to decide. I think I think I've, I'm what I'm going to do. 
face plates. They're going black again. I know, I've literally just sat there painting and repairing them. I've changed your mind again. Changed my mind a lot. This is why it takes me so long to paint. The problem is, I want it to match how I'm doing the hair. So there's some uniformity throughout the squad. But I do understand that was completely pointless what I just did. Fine. It was an exercise in futility. And I'm not mad about it. Calm your shit down, Storm. I'm busy. Yeah, so a wash will... It will darken down the tone. And it will flow into the crevices to give it definition. And the highlight will... Make those make that definition pop more. So if you see now that I've put the blue onto the imperial wings, you can almost see each feather. So when I go across it, I'm only, I'm only going to paint like one stroke on each of the feathers to make them stand out more. So what? I'd say that storm has gone from. It's a big one to as fucking biblical, mate. But yeah, washes and highlights, it's something a new painter. really needs to get to like get to grips with because quite possibly see with this so the red the red and the black are very flat but as soon as you put a wash on it adds definition and shade. The black, it doesn't do too much, but because I'm not using, say, pitch black, something like this, I'm using a very dark greyish blue, so like a Ludwaffer grey. When you add a black wash to it, it gives you the the um actually that's for show you on these oh, that's so fucking dusty so yeah it imitates uh light and depth All right which is why i always start by prefer to start with um a bluish gray now instead of a black it gives you more wiggle room as you can see, like on one of the finished ones, that armor, 
looks black, even though it's not. No black was used on this at all. Sorry, the, the cat is very, very unhappy with the storm. I'm just trying to convince her not to hit up my goddamn tripod. Watch is a fucking magical. Which is why I, I understand why people love uh, contrast paints so much because I whip out. So the wood has come out really nice on this. It gives the illusion that I've sat there for ages highlighting and black lining all the grains in the wood. But I, didn't. I basically just slapped a thick coat of contrast over it and let it do its thing while I'm here that is irritating the shit out of me fucked up his wings the wings do need to go blue Grass already fucked up his wings. Good job I already started on them. Oh, I'm sorry. This is far too angry for me this evening. This is not conducive to painting. Like if I want to listen to some guar, I'll listen to some fucking guar. But it's too much for me. chill. I don't need to be screamed at at the moment. If I wanted to be pointedly screamed at, I'd be my fucking ex. Love. A little bit more. Because why not? Why the fuck not? A lot of people say, oh, you know, what do I do about getting like brush marks in my paint? But if you're getting brush marks in your paint, you've made the fundamental mistake of your paints are too thick. Water that bitch down. Like, I use. I will usually use an actual thinner, but you can just use water. You know, just water your paints down. 
never paint straight out of the pot. They are too thick. You have to think of them as if they were concentrate. There are some colours you can get away with doing it straight out of the pot if you're doing tiny little touch-ups, but as a rule of thumb, don't. And also, if you paint it straight out of the pot, you will fuck your paints up. They're not meant to be open that long. And it is very important before you move on to like highlighting and washing all that so that your base coats are strong enough. You need a nice strong coat, not a thick coat, a strong coat to work with. You might think, oh, he's painting loads and loads of layers on that. It's like, yeah, but they're all. Thin as fuck. These are so thin they're almost glazes. It's much better to do two or three very thin coats than one big thick fat off coat. Which you will fuck the detail. May take a little bit longer, but it will look fuck ton better. Oh, yeah, I remember seeing that when I was out in the States. Had the unfortunate chance to go into Hobby Lobby. That was a weird place. Like especially if you're working with reds. Reds, yellows, anything like that. Lovely thin coats, you just keep working your way at it. That's why I work on a few models at a time. in the end you can get quite a lot done but that's just what works for me I mean everyone's got their own style I have a fairly new like a beginner's mistake people make don't compare yourself to other people's painting but you can take experience and pointers but never look at something and go oh i never had to paint that because the likelihood is no you won't be able to paint something like that because that person's probably got 20 years on you but, you know take examples from what they've done yeah sorry i know i'm also completely out of frame there but i was just doing a fucking little niggly bit that was annoying me Sticking 
stuff is dry, but there's a big fucking white patch that's being missed. God fucking damn it. Yeah, man, but I mean, all it takes is practice. I've been painting since I was five or six. I mean, it took me 10 years to be passable. I wouldn't even say that, oh, I'm fucking amazing now. Because there's people out there like, um, like Ninjon and uh, Maniac that I just will never be as good as they are. They, they are. they have true talent at it. It's okay, you know, you can't all be absolutely fucking amazing and stuff. I find great enjoyment in doing this, so I'll keep doing it and I'll keep improving. Okay, she's almost true. Oh yeah, man, we were, we were having a chat about this. And what we're going to do is about a month before the actual stream, where we'll post up in the community post, we'll give links and stuff to exactly what we're going to be using and only what we're using. So for the paint stream, everyone can get hold of like the exact same thing. We'll start from scratch, you know, we'll fit everything together because you, you don't need um, clippers to do this stuff. But you can use clippers, but I mean, a knife or anything just to pop out the sprue. But nothing needs glue or anything at this point because it's all push fit. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. What we're probably going to paint is one of these, but we'll do it in the the actual gold scheme that comes with the it all comes in the box. And yeah, we'll just take it from this. And I've actually got a example of a fully painted one anywhere near me. Yeah, uh, yeah, we are we are definitely going to be doing the paint along. We'll do a Bob Ross style paint along. Just so it's fair on everyone and everyone knows what they're doing. We will only be using the paints and stuff you get inside the box. Two hours. I've mostly just been changing my fucking mind on everything. Fine. It's a marathon, not a sprint. Yeah. Look, oh, man. This. this 
<laughs> people just to come and chill and watch what we're doing. Even if it just turns out it's just me and Ugg painting them up for the channel, you know, there's still a guide up there for people who actually want to do it. Yeah. I mean, just for this, um, the start kit. I think it's something like $25. But you get the model, or the two models, the paints and the brush inside of it. practice you can some fucking cool stuff I mean I know I showed it off last time I mean this this took me for fucking ever Glazing. Ugh, glazing. Sadly, that is all I've got time for this afternoon, this evening. There should be a live stream going ahead on Tuesday as per usual. Thanks for coming everyone. I hope you've enjoyed. I'm not quite as fast as Ugg, but I'm still learning to do the whole setup and pacing. So yeah, I shall catch everyone on Tuesday for, uh, I don't know what we're doing Tuesday, we're doing something. But until then, again, thank you for joining us, I hope you enjoyed, if you have, please like, subscribe, hit the little bell for notification, it really does help us out. So until next time guys, I shall see you all later. Catch you later folks.